Yep. Yep. Okay. <coughs> All right. So, firstly, I've had a bit of a look on the system to see if you've had any previous claims. And this may be able to help you or help us determine whether this impairment benefit claim um, can be lodged. So, I need to find out if what I'm looking at is um, a previous claim of yours, but I, I do need some further information just to pass the ID check to confirm this, with, whether um, you have any previous claims or not. So um, I know you've already given me the, your full name and date of birth. Um, so can I just get your full name again and date of birth just because... It's a new call, and I just need to confirm that I'm Richard sorry. William McLean, 8th of April, 1973. Okay. All right. Now, you said you've only lived in those two addresses. No, that was for the last case. I've lived in 26 oh. different places, mate. 26. Do you want me to try and remember them all? Okay. Yeah. Is there one sort of... What are we looking at? Well, quicken it up, you know. I'm not having a good old day. What, okay. What's the year? What's the year and what's the place of employment? I'll try and pick the house. Is that what you want? 2005. So I was at the age. I was at um, Hartley Hartley Avenue in um, West Footscray or Buckley Street in Seddon. Have you ever been in Keysborough? Yeah, 33 on Bank Drive, Keysborough. What was it? 2005? Oh, I think it was um, Northwest Area Mental Health Service. Yep. Did they go under any other names? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Um, might have been Melbourne Health or... That's um, uh, it. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's it. Okay. okay. So, you, so you did have a claim with Melbourne Health. All right. And it's got on here that it was stress-related. Yeah, that's sure. right. And you know what happened to that? I got a TPD payment out of that. That should have been paid yeah. at the time. Why wasn't that paid out? I actually had a TPD payment from my super after that, and that saved me from destitution because I went, I, I lost my mind out of stress. So why hasn't that claim gone ahead? The work cover claim. Uh, the claim was accepted. At the time, um, so what happened to it? Have a claim to pay. What so, happened to it? Well, I'd have you, I'd have to put you onto the insurance agent to t talk to you through it because they'd be the ones matching your claim. What's okay. the well, What's the best? What's the quickest way to get money, mate? I haven't got money. Okay. So what I'm saying is, you potentially could lodge an impairment benefit claim. Um, on that previous claim. Right, let's do that. How do I do it? I can put, put, put you through to the agent. All right. You can talk to the agent. I can give you the claim number. And then right. you can say, you know, I have this previous claim. Am I able to reopen and lodge an impairment benefit claim in relation to this? Because you had laid it down the track have now, um, as you mentioned yesterday, some impairment. Yeah. Okay? Yep. So I think... I think that's the best way forward for you to find out if that is possible. Right. In relation to the other claim you've lodged on the NDIA and the NDIS, I've got confirmation that sits with Comcare, which you said you were already aware of, and you've received confirmation from us before that it does. Right. Okay. Yep. So I've got to go through the AT right. Comcare and prove it. So can you say with definitive nature, are you going to defend me at AAT and say it sits with Comcare? Because they're saying it doesn't. What I would suggest, if you go to AAT and they say it does not sit with Comcare... They have. I would be calling up... I thought, didn't you have a, a hearing in a week or something? Yeah, something. I, I don't even know. I can't remember, mate. It's, 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 it's unholy that I have a brain impairment and they're pushing me through as a person with a disability and I should be have equal rights before the law. So I threw that at them the other day. Okay. So, you, yeah, if you've still got 
that uh, hearing in a week. I, I would wait to find out what happens. There. Well, they're just going to. Re- they've they've already done it. It's gone through AAT and it's gone to the member. They're going to make a decision, mate. I've got no one to defend me. Are you going to defend me? You would need to seek a legal a lawyer or legal advice for that type of defence. I'm absolutely it's, framed. It's can you can you can you send me can you send me an email with um um evidence or a confirmation? that my claim sits with Comcare. But see, this is the thing. I can't stand this. I can't stand it anymore. See, Paul Fowler was the boss at your company and he's the one who rejected me. That's fucked. Yeah, yeah and, and that would need to go through the ombudsman, which you said you've done before. The ombudsman have rejected me. I haven't got whistleblower status. I've gone through everywhere. I'm catastrophically framed, mate. Yeah, I would like to help you, Richard, with... Sorry. 